Hi everyone, welcome to another Chaos Africa meeting. Who would like to facilitate next time? I am fortunately facilitating today. So who would like to facilitate next time? I have added the link to the, and who wants to help us take notes as well? Notes take and put it here. This is for today. I'd like to facilitate next for next um meeting. That's um, October fifth. Okay. Um, I'd like to take notes for please. Um, okay. okay, uh, so I don't think we have any newcomers. This is surprising. The third time, we welcome new people here. Oh, no problem. Um, welcome everyone. Hope your day is going. Um, Okay, um, the first thing on the agenda is, um, I see the developers focus group, y'all have been doing uh, a lot of meetings lately, so I think I do want to give us updates on like what's going on there, um, what things are people working on, what's happening, where can people get information or those details. Hmm, okay. I don't of two <laughs> it's because I'm very tired. It's tiredness. It's not in it's not anything about softness. Okay. Um thank you, Ruth. Um so the last time we had a conversation on um what's going on for each focus group. Uh, we talked about the developers focus group that we are having issues trying to find the direction and all that, and that people really don't know how to contribute to um, the development project. So since then, we have um, tried to come together to um, see what we can do to address those issues. So, so far, um, I've been working with Henock and um, first I worked with Henock to, uh, to find at all, even understand the budget board to see how I can actually bring um, the whole thing together to, to demonstrate to the other contributors. Then after doing that, I also reached out to Desmond BC to create a demo session for us, which we had today. So we have it recorded and um, I would be reaching out to Elizabeth so that she, we can find a way to put it up on um, the Chaos Africa YouTube channel for any new contributor to see. Um, the second thing was, was that um, I discovered that people just need direction. And so we were able to point some of our developers to the appropriate projects that um, aligns with their skill sets. So for some, it's the badging website where they can actually use their um, React stack and all to, to contribute. And for some, they are into JavaScript, some are into Python. And um, what we want to do next now is we now have a program manager and um, tech lead. And um, these two are going to be working together to um, provide direction. So very soon, our meetings will be having an agenda now, and people will not just come into meetings and um, be lost on what the agenda is all about. So that's it so far. Um, That's really cool. Sorry, Yiga, I was overtaking your role, so you can continue. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about these updates because um, I think in the past, we've, we've struggled a lot with maintaining the group and i'm excited so you 
you are the program manager and who is the tech lead so so that we have it here okay so i am i am one of the program managers and maintainer and um enoch is um the tech lead um, um peculiar is also a, a, a program manager peculiar great congrats um thank you, thank you. So thank you time. it's a lot of work uh but we're gonna do it all together so <laughs> yeah so enoch will be definitely excited for that because it will take a lot of um burden away from him as well and gradually we'll make that group active i'm going to circle back to you i think uh, on one of the um topics here so that's i need it you know i need some input as well from your end um, okay for, you, for the work that you have been doing so far um and if you have not joined the uh what they call it the dev group it's hash that um chaos africa dash devs so you can catch up on like the updates you can ask questions there and know what they're working on and start mm -hmm. and okay. by the way we are still looking for maintainers because we have a lot of development projects going on so okay. ask me ask me any questions um on the channel and our team so okay um just also a side note on that still looking for maintainers um while people are gearing up to be maintainers we should also have give them the time to also contribute as well um yeah or get into that status okay um yeah. that's true you're always talking about money <laughs> <laughs> there's no money come with your passion <laughs> Chidali. all right so thank you. Um, I don't know if Kinsley is here or any designer is here that wants to kind of talk about what their group has been working on. Um, to talk about that. Right. Hello, Kinsley. Yeah, I yeah, your volume is a bit more full, but yes. Um, Okay, so yeah, thank you. Um, so I think uh, like we've been having in the piece of this, uh, oh. getting some rest. Is it okay? Yeah, you, you should raise your volume up a bit because. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I think it's better. Um, okay, it's better now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we've been getting some response from um, some contributors, though it's still a bit slow. And um, currently, some of the issues we have, um, I tried to open up some of those issues on uh, maybe more digital, because I realized that um, maybe some person, some potential contributors, right? Um, because I want to contribute to the project, I didn't really know what to do to be really of us, like discover some of these issues. So I did that, and I met a couple of persons that get the interest. Um, okay, actually, we can visit a uh, repository. So any design area for us to see that. So we have um, issues regarding uh, brand style and the okay, so brand style and the because we have a couple of projects, you know, cutting our first um, UI design and branding several others, right? So I'm trying to see how we can really work, have a robust system that can capture even the motion designer, the designer, or visual designer, that can complete the projects, you know, with the help of the style guide. And, um, I know some guys actually picked that. I don't know if you're on the call. So, and um, we had this call last week too. So, our calls are usually every Wednesday, I think 11 a.m. West African time to noon. 
directly. So we have one message. So, um, yeah. So I think some of the issues is that uh, for for the event budget project, I know that uh, so the mobile strings for the um, we have of course it's a couple of strings for the text of the ready. But what we have pending is the mobile view for some of these things. Of course, there were designs that we make. However, um, we still have some UX related issues and um, have a few guys actually exploring some improvement on the ability stuff. So maybe in a couple of weeks, we just, we have more updates, like more like more results. So for now, I'm trying to, I think, um, so I'm working with uh, Victoria. So Victoria is assisting me on this. So um, if you can reach me, you can message Victoria on Slack. So she'd be very much available to assist and stuff. So any specific examples, just reach out. So event budget projects. Okay, thank you. Um, I also hold on to your team. Does I think you had made a request for a design repository and yesterday was like the general meeting. I was supposed to bring that up, but I skipped. So in case you're attending like the next week chaos general meeting, you can add it to the agenda as well so that we can get that started um, as well. Because I think that is where something like brand guidelines will be, like reference, slide templates, all those stuff. That's where you can put all those things. So um just a side note there. Okay, um, so yeah, thank you very much. Let me also add that um, you know, I think it's also very important because over time, I, like one of the things I've really come to discover is that um I think for the design, sometimes it's just about spending more time educating computers on how to go about how to even discover issues, right? Because um, you know, these all Developer syndrome is stuff when it comes to open source, and then design is definitely when they have the keys, right? And what exactly can they do? So, having a separate repository because when you share a link, it tells someone, Oh, check out the issues, and then what they're seeing are a bunch of technical stores, right? It feels like maybe they just went through one or two, and didn't go through all the issues on the way down to that. Maybe it's not for me, I'm confused and stuff. So I think having a separate uh, repository will really just help to understand some of that issue. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you very much. So if you're the designer, you can get in touch with Kinsley or the design team. Um, and Kinsley, I'm also going to circle back to you. Um, as regards one of the topics on the agenda, just a heads up. Um okay, so um another kind of exciting the next does anybody have any question on this before we um move to the next agenda item? Okay, that's not so the next agenda item is about um GitHub co-pilots, um, grants presentations. So if you're new here or like just joined last month or something, for in in the month of May, we were given a grant by GitHub, the GitHub social impact team um, in GitHub to, to um, work on delivering stories on how um, Africans use GitHub Copilot. So we're giving this grant in May and we started this project um, and we had conversations here in this group about like the different story ideas and we formed a team. Um, we had um, a, quite a big team. We had like three we concluded with going with three stories, you know, one of them, which is um, we did some research on how GitHub Copilot helps neurodivergent developers with their productivity. 
and the second story was on doing a if you attended chaos con africa we did a we did a um workshop led by Ifihan um on how to use GitHub Copilots um and then did some interviews around people that participated in the workshop and also um the last story I gave was doing a um building a project with GitHub Copilots and we had like a team of developers that did that so um these three people the leads from these different story ideas they'll be doing a very short you know, presentation of what their team worked on, who and who worked on all this stuff and what they were able to like, you know, actualize. So I just, since we have like maybe five, five minutes for each of them. So maybe I'll start with Omar Lere, um, and then um, Ifian can go and then Catherine. Um, yeah, it's Omar Lere and Paul. Oh. Um, Hi, everyone, can you hear me? Um, I can hear you. Are you going for her? Yeah, I'm also standing for her. Okay, so you can you can take the floor then. Hi everyone. Good. Yeah. Good afternoon. Nigerian time. <laughs> so for my group, we're supposed to work on creating stories on how GitHub Copilot is helping neurodivergent developers manage their productivity. So in my team, we had Pekulia Ume, Mary Blessing Okolie, she's here, I think. We had Omolere, we had Daniel, and then we had me. Yeah, so we, should I slow down for the person right? Mm, we'll, we'll catch up, don't worry, I'll help. It's okay, so. Well, you, well, you have limited time just now, just fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we interviewed three people, Justin, Irabo, Zainab, and Favor. So um, they gave us insights on how they've been able to use GitHub GoPilot to manage their productivity. And so um, let me send a link to the talk so that you can do it if you want. Come Yeah, um, it was an ex interesting experience because Justin is like a web dev, Zainab is also a developer, and then um, Favor too. So we we're able to understand how it was able to help their productivity. For some of them, they mentioned that using GitHub Copilot is like a and they can assist and that, and then it also helps with picking up things quickly and not having like because sometimes having maybe ADHD can affect the way you. Um, are able to start projects. So having a like, GitHub Copilot start starts you up, and then you can continue from whatever points that it brings out for you also helps. And having like a pair programmer. So basically, is the summary of my presentation is that we be able to learn from three different people how GitHub Copilot helps helps them as neurodivergent people, and also have them recommend it to for more people because apparently it's also very useful in their various day to day lives. Nice. And um, okay, yeah. yeah. So the story is written in first person. So it's like them narrating their stories to you. So yeah. Okay, this is nice. Um, I have seen it before, so um, but yeah, like um, I really liked this story, um, because it really um like I said, this grant was given to us by the social impact team, and what the social impact team at GitHub do is that they you know look out for ways that technology can help um you know, the society, right? Um, and they have been doing that for quite some time, you know, they run research. So this particular story was able to show how much like um sometimes um with people's um you know their you know ability, you know, don't call it disability, but like with their differences, um, you might not know how how they struggle with some certain things. 
to um you know this technology like copilot was able to show us like using for them using copilot helps them be more productive in writing code right um so um yeah i really liked this story and um well done to your team precious um does anybody have any questions for precious or any of our team members we will go to the next one Okay, see there are no questions. All right. Um, if you had, do you want to go? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Good afternoon. Can I can I start? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Good afternoon, or rather, good day, everyone. My name is um Ifeo, and I was in charge of taking the second story. That is um the introductory session to um Git of Copilot at uh, Chaos Africa at uh, Chaoscon. So um the whole the whole idea behind this um story was in as much as a lot of devs mention copilot, there are a lot of people that don't know about what copilot is and how to use copilot. So what I did here, I was a team of two. I and I, I was designer on the team. I helped with like designing everything that was needed. So what we did was um on the day of Kioscon, we had um three people that we interviewed. So we had two series of interviews for them a pre-interview and a post-interview. So the pre-interview was before the session where we asked them um, about their thoughts on AI um, powered, powered tools for coding and how to, and what they think or how they believe it's going to help them in their um, journey. And then they went into the session and the session, what I did in the session was I introduced a reasonable amount of people that didn't know about Copilot or there were students that didn't know they could access Copilot with their um, students. You know, so. At the conference, I was or at the workshop that I was able to properly communicate. Uh, am I breaking out? It did for some seconds, but I think you're back now. So you oh, okay. Sorry about that. So, um, at the session, I was able to navigate people through um GitHub Copilot, what it is, and how to get started with it. So, in that session, we were able to do some. Amazing stuff from converting code from one language to another. Um, you know, building is very simple, landing page that had a button and all those kind of things. And then after that, we interviewed the three people. So the three people um were interviewed after and asked them about like their thoughts on copilot and what they want to use it for. So it was very interesting because um one of them was actually facing an issue and uh, she was she said she would use it for um like use it in a project actually and the other one was it was going to use it to you know refactor some code that i already had and see how it can make his work easier so that's the whole story uh yeah that's great um i I also loved this part of like for this story we wanted to make um you know educate people because I think there's a time I there's time I did a talk around code species and I was quite shocked um when I did the talk like on the number of people that did not know about GitHub code species, right? So GitHub is always shipping like a lot of awesome stuff and sometimes it's not sometimes a lot of people do not know like what's going on. So we decided to use this um this medium to you know educate people on um GitHub Pro Pilot, right? And that session was actually recorded. Um I'll grab the link and I'll share it as well because um that's something that's nice as well that we recorded that and you can always catch up with it. Um let me find the link. 
to this and share the recording quickly. But well done to Ifian and Ayo for the work that you both did. Um, I'm guessing that some people even from the that I don't know if you were able to confirm if that the people some people that went um did the introductory session participated in the hackathon. Did you um check that or did you try to figure that out if they did? Or, no, I I wasn't able to like check that one out. But I can still check even like just compare the sheets that I have with the one that Cynthia has. Also, um in I think I can ask if I can like if they can if she can have access to stories. So can I share it? Yes. Yeah, you can share it here and you can put it on okay. but the, what I just shared now is the YouTube link to um if you hands workshop. Um, either you can add it to like the the chat, um, the recorded session. I just shared it, but you can also share the link to the doc. I think this is it. Okay, um, great. So thank you, Ifihan. Um, Katri does anybody have any question for Ifihan? Um, you know about copilot. Can I say anything? She can answer everything. Okay, I guess no question. So well done, if you have an eye. Um, Catherine, do you want to kick it off with what your team worked on? Yes. Yeah. Um, hi everyone. I uh, hope you're having a good day. Uh, can you all hear Catherine? I don't seem to hear her. She muted. Did I mute you by mistake? Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. it will be then all of a sudden, and then. Yeah, I think he's back now. All right. Okay. Um. Well, hi everyone. I hope you're having a good day where you are. Uh. So my team, we worked on building a solution with GitHub Copilot, so that we can demonstrate how copilot improves productivity and it generally contributes to social good. Um, so initially we wanted to do a hackathon, but later on we decided to build one project and have um, a group working on it. And then we also wanted to model, uh, we wanted to create a typical technical team that would work on, on um, a technical project um, from the beginning to the end. So for our team, we were 10 team members. We had a project, uh, a product manager led by Jude Adeshina. Uh, we also had our UI US design lead um, led by Kingsley and also Good Luck Allen. Um, and then we had our writers who was Adeyenka, who was our UI UX copywriter. Uh, we also had our technical documentation writers, that is Kuzai and Faith. Uh, and then we had our developers um, who were coding on the project. So the main objective was to see how Copilot would help us deliver this project in a shorter time frame and also reduce the kind of um, blockers that developers often face when they're building um, such a project. So the big idea that we got for this is, can we create um, a, a product or a platform that re is related to chaos and the objective of open source, while also seeing how Copilot improves developer productivity? So um, Jude and Kingsley and I, we came up with the idea of building a platform to showcase open source projects built by Africans. Uh, by Africans, and Jude actually came up with a very good name um, called AFOS, which is African Open Source. I've posted the link in the chat. And um, yeah, and so we started working on the project. Um, Jude and Kingsley, they worked on the, uh, pro on the PRDs for the project. Um, I created the project plan, and um, we did a training and onboarding phase. Um, to teach people how to use Copilot. 
thankfully, a lot of people already knew how to use Copilot. So the only thing that was remaining was to just um, was to just give them access to Copilot. Um, then, of course, there was the UI UX design phase, which was led by um, Jude, uh, Kingsley, and uh, and Good Luck. And then um, we had the development phase, which ran from July 17th to August. So this was an open source project, which was built by people who volunteered to work on the project. So you can have a look at it. It's within the Chaos repository, and it's called the GitHub Copilot Hackathon project. And once we were done with it, uh, with the development phase, we deployed, um, and Enoch helped us a lot on this particular um, this particular period to deploy it um, so that people can have access to the project. So what we wanted to do within this phase for this particular grant project was to develop an MVP. So in case you've gone to the website, there are some sections that we will add functionality much later. But for now, we wanted to build a minimum viable product to first showcase how GitHub Copilot um, contributes to developer productivity. So um, thanks to Ruth, we've gotten the green light to host this project under um, Chaos Africa. So Chaos Africa will be maintaining the project where the developers, contributors, um, and anyone who would like to work on it will get a chance to continue building um, this particular project. So some of the findings that we got from this is that Copilot really helps um, developers get a general idea of what the project is all about and um, the kind of feature that they are building. So based on the code suggestions that we were getting, you would get an idea of what the next sections of that particular component that you're building looks like. So it reduces the, uh, the context switching where you have to keep on Googling or you have to keep researching what a particular section is supposed to do or the kind of um, styling you need to implement for a particular section because Copilot provides you the suggestions. And the suggestions are actually great. Um, and uh, feedback we got was that the suggestions are, um, they are at least over 70% accurate. So with just, a, with just a few edits here and there, you'd actually find that the suggestions are relevant to the particular section that someone is working on. So yeah, so this project was a great experience. Um, I'm happy to have worked with such an amazing team and I look forward to um, to growing this project. Yeah. Um, this is really so nice. Um, I did share this. Um, that was that was um, on Tuesday in the Chaos General Group and I thought like it heard um, feedback from um, general chaos um, community members on how they really love the idea to showcase this. And I know that when we got this grant, like when this idea came up, it was just, it was initially going to be just a demo thing, right? We're just going to do it just to um, prove the point, right? Or research on if actually could buy a lot of research activity. And then we, mm -hmm. um, over, like looking at what you all came up with, like it was just too awesome to just prove it at the end. Like, so I, I, I thought about how we can even maintain this and have this as our own project. And even more interesting, the whole of functionalities are not yet used, so we can gradually build this up and more people can get involved and contribute to it. Um, so I really do love what your team came up with, and I feel this. And a very excellent work, and I see this being very helpful to a lot of people. Um, so, but um, something that just because I don't want to forget, um, the recommendation I got from like the chaos group was to kind of define how this site will work moving forward, like how the submit project will work, that functionality will work, because I see this place as a library of resources where even yeah. people researchers that are doing work for so a lot of people I do come across like researchers that do research work around um African open source projects or people even looking for projects to contribute to. So how will the functionality kind of work here? Who can submit a project? Will it be just restricted to maintainers? 
so that we know the authenticity of like okay this project actually exists and is owned by an african right so um i really moving forward i would love it seems like kind of define how that would work so that we capture projects that are actually authentic and we need for sure that they are there and then maybe other pages like community um i don't know what will be here what to be showcased if we are going to showcase the projects that do have community or where does this lead to so um i think this is something that um the, it will be passed on to like the developers the developer focus group to kind of handle as well and we also need that team for you to can like build it up and I really want to commend um, your work here and also the product manager's work, Drew. Well done. I think it was really good. But the fact that you all like executed this in one month, regardless of the fact that you were the co pilot, but you were able to do it by a month and you know, you brought up something, something really, really valuable. Right? So I really love it. And well done to you all. So I mean, maybe, does anybody have any questions? Um, I see Kings, you have your hand in you. So. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, you can. Okay, so it, I know you asked me, you, you mentioned a couple of things. Just really in addition to the words that you might have already. Uh, the volume is a bit too low, so maybe you want to raise so, the screen. Um, so I wanted to mention that um, there's a document, right, that accounts for who is supposed to submit projects. Right. Okay. If you can have, share the document as well, that would be great. And so, like you mentioned, so this is the subject to kind of like put things in simple. Oh, your volume is low. This is the internet that you are using. You need to stop it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are you Don't ready? make me sleep. Sorry. Okay. Um maybe Kinsley, you can share the document or maybe you can drop it in the chat. Um does I'm not saying more of blue user, sorry. Um, does anyone have any question for Catherine or her team before we move like to the other agenda items? Because we are far spent on this one. Um, Ruth, just to comment on something, um, uh, Kingsley, I hope you're still here. I just wanted to just mention that uh, we'll have a meeting with Kingsley and even the product manager, Jude, to just discuss the next step forward and to kind of come up with like a general technical roadmap um, because this will involve a lot of design um, to figure out the other sections and then we'll involve the developer focus group. Thank you. No worries. Uh, Rama, um, I see your hand raised. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to ask um Catherine about like um the co-pilot projects like moving forward. If we are looking to like perhaps contribute issue, maybe not pull requests now. Is there is there like a guideline? I know you just mentioned something about like a technical requirement. Is there like, is that going to be like a guideline for us to know how the issue is meant to be and all those things? Uh, you mean in terms of using the copilot tool? Right? Yeah, like, is that going to be like further contributions to the copilot projects like this um, link that you just shared yeah. now? And then how do we, I'm so sorry, how do we like open an issue for that? Okay, yes, so for this, we'll definitely continue with it. So we'll be raising the issues, me and Enoch, we'll be raising the issues. So once we come up with the roadmap, we define the other sections and how they're going to look like. Um, and then once UI UX works on the actual design, we'll raise the issues and then we'll bring it to the community so that anyone who wants to contribute can pick up an issue. Okay, sure. Okay, great. Um, thank you very much. Um, just to you know, um, put it out there that 
these stories are going to be highlighted over the next couple of months. These stories will be highlighted by GitHub and subsequently we can share when they share these stories. So yes, um, well done to everybody that worked on this. So moving on, um, some updates for all in Africa. Um, I mean, I'm trying to, I was trying to paste the website link. Somehow my paste button is facing me. Um, so all in Africa, um, we shared that this was going to be launching soon. Um, the launch date is set for September the 27th. Or you can visit the web page to know what this program is about. And if you've not heard of it, um, this is an initiative to partner with Chaos Africa to bring education, like provide the curriculum for anybody interested in learning about open source to go through a curriculum and get a certificate. So you can visit um this link to see what the program is about. Um and what the benefits are. And on the 27th, it will be officially launching. So you'll be able to use the join um, or the you will be able to apply for, to be a participant for this program. But in the meantime, in the meantime, the regional um, ambassadors, um, like I, I shared one time that the regional ambassadors are people that will be recognized in the five regions of Africa to represent all in Africa in their, in their various regions. So the application is open, it's kind of close, like it's, it's internally open because like I said, officially GitHub hasn't announced this. So um, you can feel if you're interested, um, it will be closing this Friday. So you can feel it here. This is the form I presume. Um, hopefully I didn't paste the wrong thing. I guess this is it. Yes, this is the interest form, so you can you know fill it and if you're interested in that by Friday to be closed. So yep, um, that's about all in. Does anybody have any questions before we move to the next um agenda item? Okay. Um, okay, great. No questions. Um, so the next agenda item, if you have not seen our announcement, we are partnering with Angolan Open Source Community um to launch um to work on like a hackathon um for Hacktober Fest. Um, and last week, I don't know, last week, last meeting, I did talk about it. And, you know, where, um, I think Antonio is also here. Maybe, Antonio, do you want to maybe talk about the hackathon a bit? Sorry for putting you on the spot if you're still here. I don't think Antonio, Antonio is still here. Hi. Hi. Am I the Yes. So hi everyone. Hello. My name, hi, my name is Antonio Pedro, and I am the founder of Angola Open Source Community. So next he, next month we are organizing Hackathon in collaboration with Chaos Africa, and the idea of this Hackathon is to be an open source Hackathon where the participants will have to contribute to uh, open source projects, right? So. We are uh, we we were talking to Ruthie about in, involving some of the Chaos Africa projects, so that our community can also contribute to the same projects. Yes, so that's the overall idea. Now the project that we are looking for, like we are, we we are having two tracks and a hackathon. We have non code contribution and the code contribution. And the prices, <clears throat> the price are same for both uh, tracks, right? Because both contribution have value. So we already have a lot of 
for the contrib code contributions or, or, or we have we already have a lot of projects where they can contribute with the code and we are looking for projects where they can contribute with the documentation translating the code translating documentation or translating the project to another item so we are looking for non code non code con pro uh, project where they can contribute with non non code uh, stuff like okay. translating project to another language, translating documentation, and etc. Yeah, thank you so much, um, um, Antonio, for you know talking more about this, and I, I do love the idea. So um, there's also like a team that's of people that also like con are contributing to make this uh, partnership be success. Um, Iga Ambusayo, I think um. Jacob and some other folks as well. So um, I put this on the agenda. So circling back to you, Adenka, and even to Kinsley about non-code contributions and maybe technical documentation. I know um, we have some projects like in Chaos Africa. Um, I don't know if you want to work with um, this team that is also working with Antonio to make this a success to kind of like list out the different ways we can get issues um and i really love the translation idea because um while as we are partnering with them um we're also bringing in people and for people that do not know um angolan speak portuguese um so um in, i think english is not the lingua franca right um and it's mainly portuguese so um so that translation will really help um with people that would join the community. Um, so I don't know, I think uh, what are your thoughts on how you can see to translate like some documentation, like the especially if maybe for even the projects that we want to showcase during the hackathon to translate those um docs um and then create up issues, um, good first issues that we can we can showcase in the hackathon. What are your thoughts, Kinsley? Even design as well. I think design. Okay. Also... Do you mean projects from our yes, home yes. development projects at um, Chaos? So, so generally, right? Um, I I want to be specific to Chaos Africa first, right? Um, and maybe even the bots before I, because I'm trying to also see how I can create things up like with Grimola, because I know you all don't have like, um full access to Grimoire Lab and Augur. So the project that you already handle, what do you see? How how can we kind of bring out some issues as regards translation? Because I think Antonio said they already covered yes. or code related stuff. So I see translation of documentation as something that will be on the dev side and then maybe other non-code contributions like design. Um we can yes. Do yes. I think that's a cool thing to do we can explore that idea. Okay, so I think so far we have the Slack bot, we have the we have the. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I, I'll add you to that team, that group, so that you can map out like the different um things that regards translation and then we can work towards, I think Busaya also brought up the idea about the translation, so we can work towards translating that aspect of the documentation. And okay. Then yeah, for Kinsley, do you see like maybe we can get like some design issues that can be um showcased during the hackathon? Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe we can open up those issues in Portuguese and tag them with the design label. Maybe Antonio would will help with translating that um maybe the description to Portuguese and then we can put them up on the um. Uh, Yes, um, yes, I can do that definitely. Thank you. Um, great. Um, and no, so the AI is to add um Adinka, not Catherine. This is somebody that's um I think that's Yiga. Is Adinka, not Catherine. Um, so great. I think we can settle that async. Um, another thing is Hacktober first. Does anybody have any questions on this? particular agenda item before we move to the next one.
Okay, I think there are no questions. Um, so for um this next month, October first is coming up. Um and you know it's also something that I would last year we participated in October first and we did like um I think it was four if I remember correctly we did like four Twitter spaces one every week and even this week like early this week some speakers that spoke at the um one of the Twitter spaces we did, you know, they've shared like how much um impact they've had over the past one year, you know, after speaking at that space. So it will be great that we start gearing up. I know it's almost October. And if you're not familiar with October 1st, um, October 1st is a month-long contribution to open source. It is organized by Digital Ocean. Mm -hmm. Right, so it happens in the month of October, and this year they do it every year annually. So usually, open source communities they um they they make like plans as regards October first. That's also what the Angolan open source community is making plans for. So I would also love us to have our own plans for like um October first. So I don't know um if are there people just because we don't have a lot of time to talk about this right now, are there people that want to you know team up to work on this? Please indicate your name here so that um everybody has access to the agenda item. You can indicate your name here so I reach out to you and we can coordinate. Um and this is going to this has to be fast. Uh, we can coordinate on projects. Um and Catherine, I see that um that's websites like we can use the month of October first to you know get a lot of contributions to that website that was built with um copilot. So um Catherine, you should definitely be in that team um so that we can talk about that. Um, but just indicate your name and I'll reach out to you later this week or next, later this week, because like October is almost here. Um, and the next agenda item, sorry I'm rushing so fast because like we're almost out of time, just five more minutes. Um, I really want to give a big shout out to Olichi. Um, She has been working on the social media, making the social media active. If you've noticed in the past two weeks, our social media page has been really active. We are posting every day, we are sharing opportunities and sharing articles. So thank you so much, Oluchi, for the social engagement so far. And if you're not following Chaos Africa yet, it's at underscore Chaos Africa, at Chaos Africa underscore, oh, what am I saying? Hmm. I'll check the Twitter handle. Um, but yeah, well done to Olichi. And if you want to also help Olichi with creating social content, you can also reach out to her um as well. Um, she I, I will just let her talk about this idea very quickly as she puts here. So here. Yeah. Hi everyone, good evening. Good evening. So it's chaos underscore Africa. Yeah. Okay, so um for the AMA session, we I I no I actually so we thought of doing something different like an event space where we get people to access that's the audience where we get them to access um questions that they may want to ask and and also, if there is anything at all, they would love to know from us because, because sometimes I notice that when people join the community, they might not want to like ask this question. So we wanted it to be like an open space instead of it being um instead of it being the community, the newcomers community uh, meetings that normally happen. So that was why the AMA session is there. And again, we need speakers like just two people that that are knowledgeable very well about the community so that they can answer these questions. And again, we need questions from you people from the community just to 
just to be like our startup point before we get the other people, like the audience, the outside audience to ask us these questions during this space. Okay, I, I really love the idea. And I think when she told me about it, I also told her that we can also use that because it will happen at the end of this month. So we can use it to talk about like our Hacktober Fest plans as well. So if you're interested in speaking, um, you know, about this and talking about like the community, Chaos Africa, what you are working on, what you're how you're contributing, you can reach out to Oluchi as well to so that we can set this up and we will also need design. So I don't know if Oluchi has opened it issue up yet, but we'll also need design. Yeah, I'll do that before the end of today. Okay, great. Um, thank you very much. Um, I think the last thing is GitHub. You, if you would love to virtually attend, or um, if you have a US visa and you love to go, um, you can sign up for GitHub Universe here. Um, I think virtually attending is totally free, so you can sign up for GitHub Universe there. Um, I think that's the last thing. Does anybody have any questions or anything that you want to be? clarify um thank you very much yiga for the notes oh my god this is so good you'll be our primary note taker um i think favor said you didn't get information on the to the contribution what contribution sorry Um, if you can clarify that for me, what contribution are you talking about? Um, you can always DM me to ask to clarify on that. Let me put a very um big thank you to Yiga so that because Elizabeth needs this note a lot. Okay, so thank you everyone. Um, it was great to see you all here, and I'll see you in the next two weeks. Um, the last statement I made, uh, I'm trying to say, the last statement I made. I've been talking a lot, so I don't even know the last thing I said. But you can message me later. But thank you everybody for joining. Um, and see you all next two weeks. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.